nanoparticles suspended in a fluid are constantly in motion. The origin of this erratic motion, named after the botanist Robert Brown, had been a vexing miracle throughout the 19th century. It took a genius like Einstein to finally explain it as a consequence of the thermal jitter of the fluid molecules in his Agnus Mirabilis 1905. Soon after, Perrin employed Einstein's theory of Brownian motion to prove atoms real, for which he later received the Nobel Prize. While isothermal Brownian motion is thus well understood for over a century, nobody could so far predict the non-equilibrium Brownian motion of a heated nanoparticle. But this becomes increasingly relevant as heated nanoparticles are now regularly encountered in the lab and in nanotechnological applications. Quite often, metal nanoparticles and other mobile nanoscopic devices move or operate while exposed to laser light, which can heat them considerably beyond the ambient fluid temperature. Their so-called hot Brownian motion is faster and more vigorous than its equilibrium counterpart. The heat flux emanating from a heated particle creates, in the surrounding fluid, a hot halo that moves along with it and speeds it up. For constant laser heating, the phenomenon can be classified as a non-equilibrium steady state, or NES. Recently, we have extended Einstein's theory to such NES conditions and have shown that they can be characterized by an effective temperature. This effective temperature is an abstract temperature, intermediate between the temperatures of the ambient fluid and the particle itself, and not a simple mean of the two or anything like that. According to the theory of hot Brownian motion, it has to be calculated as the hypothetical solvent temperature at which the ordinary equilibrium Brownian motion of an isothermal particle would look the same as that of the heated particle. The theory thus maps a complicated non-equilibrium problem onto a much simpler effective equilibrium problem. Interestingly, it turns out that different degrees of freedom feel different effective temperatures. For example, the temperature characterizing rotational hot Brownian motion is higher than that for translational motion. In the present contribution, we focus on the rotational Brownian motion of a heated particle for which we can calculate the effective temperature analytically. To substantiate our analytical predictions, we performed large-scale molecular dynamics simulations of a Leonard Jones fluid on graphics cards. These allow a very efficient and massively parallel execution of the molecular dynamics code. The simulations give access to quantities which are hard to measure in experiments, such as the particle orientation and the velocity autocorrelation. In particular, they nicely confirm our theoretical predictions of the effective temperature. The work has many interesting implications for innovative experiments and applications. An important example is provided by so-called Janus particles, two-faced hybrids with a hotter and a cooler side. The Brownian motion of such smart nanostructures changes gears when the external heating is switched on, from the conventional Brownian tumbling to a self phoretic directed motion along their self-generated temperature gradient. The speed up at a given heating power is limited by the particle's rotational hot Brownian motion that determines the persistence length of their path beyond which they lose direction. Our analytical predictions and numerical simulations thus provide us with means to compute and control the performance of such novel self-propelled vehicles and more sophisticated laser-controlled nanomachines that are now on many people's drawing boards.